Hi guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts here to react to the next episode of my Patreon series of Zoids Genesis up to episode three. So um, bear with me as I try to remember names and such. So we got uh, uh, Ruji, uh, our main uh, protagonist this time around, who is very much like Van. Um, I'm assuming later on though that's going to change, but for the time being, I can't help but notice the parallels between him and Van, uh, mainly because, you know, he can be a little bit whiny, but the only... All right, there's a few differences. One, Ruji, unlike Van, actually has a family. Like, he has a dad and siblings and stuff. Van had nobody. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is that the other girl who I said is like Fine, um, um, uh, me, my, or whatever, how you say it, I'll try and listen, if they bring up her name this episode, or if they say her name this episode, I'll try to listen to it and so I can get it exact. But I said Mai was kind of like um, Fine, but that's not 100% true. Uh, because, fin let's be honest here, Fine was a lot more useless than uh, Mai. So I'm going to say that Fine, sorry, Mai is more like um, a mixture between, yeah, still she's got in a few of uh, Fine's, a uh, uh, bit of Fine's personality, but she's also mixed in with Moonbay a little bit in terms of uh, how well she can battle. And if she, if it turns out like Mai, um, Mai can also, uh, you know, fix Zoids and stuff, then that's going to be hundred uh, percent prove that they've mixed her in with uh, with Moonbay as well. Uh, as for her. I think it was like grandfather, uh, uh, Khan or something like that. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if he's meant to be the stand-in for, uh, um, it's been so long, it's been a while, Ivan, yeah, that's it. I'm wondering if he's the stand-in for Ivan or not, maybe not because Ivan is younger than, um, than Ran, uh, but, or Ra, whatever, which one of it is. Uh, but yeah, last episode, uh, the city, sorry, not city, the village uh, was attacked um, by uh, this new general or something like that. Uh, don't know his name just yet, uh, but I'm sure we'll learn it soon. Seems kind of convenient that uh, his, uh, his group attacks the... Uh, the village while he's in it, even though he's trying to, you know, learn more about them. So, mm, in a way, I think, like, does it, what I'm trying to get at is, like, do they know that their leader, well, not le maybe leader, is in the village? Because if they don't, and they're just attacking wildly, they could easily injure or kill, uh, you know, one of their leaders. I'm assuming, again, if like commander, right? Com Let's go with the word commander for the time being. It won't look good. It really won't look good. So uh, let's jump into episode three of Zoid's Genesis and see how they get out of the situation in uh, three, two, one. And I'm not 100% sold on these subtitles, I will admit. Might, while the song plays, I might just turn this down a little bit. Mainly the reason I'm not really sold on the subtitles is because of the way they come into the, into the picture. If that makes sense, like, they show up, someone talks, and then, like, like, you get part of the sentence here, and then the rest of the sentence here, for example. So it's just like, okay, that's a unique way of doing the subtitles. I'll get used to it, but it's going to take a while. I don't think I brought this up yet either, but in terms of like the Zoids timeline, all right, we've got Zoids, the one that I originally reacted to. I'm assuming that's the first, you know, first part of the timeline. So what comes next? Is it New Century 
and then this? Or does this come before New Century? Because I can kind of picture like these, some of these characters being like, I don't know, descendants of like Van, Moonbay, etc. I might just start skipping this part. There we go. Departing on a journey. So yeah, I'm assuming they're going to leave the village. Now that's, you know, on fire. <laughs> There's no way that they can save this village now. It's been totally wiped out. And of course, Yuji is uh, still just like standing there doing fuck all. <laughs> so, Ruji. Damn it, kid, just do something. Your town, your village is on fire. There we go. Maybe it wrecked on its own. Now, did Ruji do that or did the Zoid actually do that? Well, that's what they've been saying, so... And considering you can use this particular uh, Liger, then I'm assuming you're allowed to use the, the sword that's been handed down through your ancestors, yes. Someone else told me that... Uh, it's gone to the point now where, like, the, this particular type of Liger is kind of like the Agamon of, uh, of Zoids. Like, you have to have a Liger in every Zoid. <laughs> Good luck breaking that. I don't know how durable the, that sword is, but I'm assuming it's quite powerful considering, in fact, it can just slice through, you know, metal, which um, is what the Zoids are made from. Or some type of metal, anyway. Cut off its head. Impressive. And blow it up, too. <laughs> yeah, you don't forget about me. So it is me, okay. Oh, I'm just happy you're finally doing something, Ruji, because you're just standing there for a while. Well, you just met him. It's probably good to do, you know, your research first. That's what the whole point of you coming to the village was about. But instead, you got your guys to attack. Uh, 
If I take it, if the I take it then, if the generator blows up, it will be really bad. Yeah, in other words, massive boom, right? Massive explosion. Probably best to get away from the generator then. Just going to try blasting him away. Okay. Just slice the attack in half. Wow, this guy can't control his anger. <laughs> you just tried that attack and it did nothing. And you're drawing it again? Oh, well, there goes the generator. Well, crap. You're the one that decided to do another attack at him. Okay. Yeah, you should retreat for now. He decided to retreat. Well, again, that was on you for, you know, shooting another laser blast, even though the first one didn't work. You'll have to leave the village. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have to... You're now officially homeless. You're... Yeah, to be fair, you're the one that jumped out of the way. Kinda, but... Eh. No, he, dude, he blocked one with the sword. He, it literally, he did the same attack twice. Well, yes. Yes, it is happening. We won't have any plot otherwise. But my guess is that you're going to have to leave the village. Like, everyone is going to have to leave the village because the generator is destroyed. And he's just been there this entire time. Has he just been in there for like the like an entire day or something? So I'm assuming they're going to assess the damage. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming, yep, totally dead. Mm-hmm. So what are the chances that later on in the se this series, it comes back online? Somehow. Yeah, as I'm, again, going to clarify, they're all homeless now, aren't they? And they're going to have to leave this t village.
What does that mean, though? I'm assuming, I was assuming a massive boom. So you've actually seen it happen before. Then what happens? Uh, okay, so pretty much the the land around the generator d dries out. You may have no choice in the matter. All right, they don't want to leave. But I'm assuming since he's seen, seen this before, I am going to assume that um, it happened to him. Rock on, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So it can maybe be repaired. Because there is still a generator, I guess, even though it's half plant. Okay, so that's going to be this arc. All right. To find people who can fix the generator. Hmm. It will only turn to, it'll turn to stone in only three days. Hmm. That's very quick, all things considered. You have three days to find the me mechanics. Yeah, that's a good point. But would you really do that? Take a uh, Ruji with you. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the case. You're going to go with them. Yeah, that's a good point. So it'd be kind of useless if Ruji stayed behind. Well, like, what could he do to help in this situation after all? If he stayed in the village. Yeah, but again, won't have any plot otherwise. <laughs> hmm. 
Best I've heard of it. Alright, get a bit of backstory on Yuji. Teacher and a Zoe pilot. So it's money, okay. She already knows you're going. You're already a full protagonist. <laughs> and don't forget your pro protagonist goggles as well. They're very important. <laughs> So I'm giving it to you now. <laughs> I would even go so far as to say that, oh, he's got on the, like, the family heirloom already. Well, his dad's dead. <laughs> I doubt it yet, but... That's almost like, you know, signing or death warrant and this sort of thing. No, you did not know that. <laughs> Shooting star. Time to see them off. She shall charm. Okay. The kids were promptly sh were promptly uh, stepped on by the Zoids because they got too close. <laughs> <laughs> Do not look back. Let's keep going.
So they're on essentially first name basis then. <laughs> All right, then we journey to get the uh, mechanics uh, and fix the generator begins. And it's going to take like 48 episodes for them to do this. <laughs> well, I guess I was proven a little wrong about May being uh, able to fix things. <laughs> so she hasn't gotten uh, Moonbase mechanic uh, traits. But she still is kind of like a moon bay as well. In terms of how to pilot a Zoid. They, I like how they conveniently left out that they should really have like a a time frame of how long until you know the pro uh, crops uh, die and like the water runs out, etc., and the disease happens. They didn't really give you a time frame for that, so that's why that way they can just like take as long as they need to get these uh, mechanics. To come to um, to come to uh the village and repair the generator. I have to say that was a good episode. It's starting to, I guess, pick up steam now. So even after three episodes, so I'm glad about that. I'm curious to see where this goes from here. Uh, we'll go and do the fourth episode now. Uh, but yeah. Glad Ruji has uh, left the uh, village. We knew that was going to happen, uh, but so this, <clears throat> pardon me. This happened so quick, like it, they didn't like leave it like another episode, like start have him leave like at the beginning of episode uh, four. Not just at the end of episode three. We're going. We're going. We got a mission to uh, achieve. So yeah, overall good episode. I am very curious to see where this goes from here. So uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, which should hopefully be up around the same time as this one. So have a good day as always, guys. Bye.